Welcome to Logan. Here they make two things, ice cream and babies. Logan can make three ice creams per hour. But Logan can only make one baby per hour. Welcome to Provo. Provo also makes babies and ice cream. Provo can make two babies an hour. However, they can only make two ice creams per hour. In the time it takes Logan to make one baby, they miss out on making three ice creams. That is, the cost of making one baby is three ice creams. Since Provo can make two babies or two ice creams an hour, their cost is one ice cream to one baby. Thus, Provo has the comparative advantage in making babies because their cost in terms of ice cream is lower. And Logan has the comparative advantage in making ice cream because their cost in terms of babies is lower. Now let's say that Logan and Provo each have 10 hours to produce either babies or ice cream. First, let's see what happens when they each devote five hours to each activity. Provo will produce 10 babies and 10 ice creams in the 10 hours. Logan will produce 5 babies and 15 ice creams. This will make a total of 15 babies and 25 ice creams in the 10 hour period between the two cities. Now let's see what happens when the two cities specialize in the product for which they have a comparative advantage. Provo will spend the entire 10 hours making babies, producing 20 babies in all. Logan will spend the entire time making ice cream, producing 30 ice creams in all. Between the two cities, they have a total of 20 babies and 30 ice creams. That is five more babies and five more ice creams than they had before. When each city specializes in what they have the comparative advantage in, the entire economy is better off if they engage in trade. Thanks to economics, the magnificent Logan is better off. And I guess Provo is a little better off too.